So I'm Nikki Hodgson and I studied my PhD at the University of Sheffield where I studied molecular biology and I now work at Find University as head of events. So my PhD was really focused on the model organism E. coli um, and bacteria can function as under two kind of lifestyle states. So one which is motile and one which is where the individual bacteria cluster and form a biofilm. And it's this lifestyle transition that really affects whether a bacteria causes disease or not. So I was specifically researching a few proteins involved in this lifestyle switch and how these proteins are activated. I was really fortunate that my PhD was fully funded, so I had a BBSRC funded research project. Um, and when I applied for my PhD, I applied directly through the university and the funding was already associated with it. So I was really fortunate to know when I was applying for my PhD, when I got my PhD, that it was a fully funded position for three years and nine months. Um, and that was really, really fantastic because it does take that pressure away from you. Um, and for me, it very much meant that I treated my PhD as a job. And so I would put the hours in as I would a paid job. And it really helped me to, I think, think about it in a slightly different light and to see it as, you know, a job that you go to if you're having a bad day, you still do the work. And, it, and I think that mentality really helped. I was in contact with students at other universities. Um, it also helps to allow you to collaborate um, between people that might be working on similar projects at other universities. And it just really helps with that kind of network of people. One thing that I found quite challenging at some points during my PhD was that some of my results that I got weren't necessarily positive results. Um, and that is, you know, that is the nature of scientific research. You're asking a question and you genuinely don't know what that answer is going to be. So I had quite a period where I was asking a lot of science, scientific questions, I was doing experiments, but they weren't generating a positive result as such. Um, and they were more telling us that something didn't happen, which at the time and initially I did find quite challenging. But actually that is, you know, that is a really important part of scientific research and it's discovering, you know, what something does, but also what something doesn't do. And although that doesn't generate, you know, necessarily a lovely story of my protein interacts with X, Y, and Z, and it triggers this, and it does that, that, that. What it does do is it does provide a lot of information so that scientists in the future already know the answers to those questions. During my PhD, I started initially being involved with a scientific outreach charity. And the aim of that really was to raise awareness, you know, throughout the community, uh, of the scientific research that was going on at the University of Sheffield. So I very much got into it from a scientific point of view. Um, and then as I became more involved with it, I ended up being taking a larger and larger role in the charity itself and ended up being more involved in planning the events that we might run and marketing them and actually running the events on the day. And I think it was just all of that gave me exposure to something that I hadn't done before and it was something that I just really enjoyed. So that really planted the seed that, you know, maybe there was something else career-wise out there for me that I would enjoy. And so essentially that is how I transitioned from, you know, two very different career paths. <laughs> Um, you know, bioscience research to then go into work in marketing and events. So my three top tips for potential PhD students are to do your research on your supervisor. 
check that they are someone that you can get on with, check that they are someone who you know you think you'll have a positive experience with. Second tip is to consider the kind of day-to-day environment you'll be working in. So if that will be in a lab, if that will be field work, if it will be library based, just how you will spend your days. And thirdly, is to make sure it's something you are passionate about. There are so many different PhD projects out there and you will be working on whatever you choose to work on for four, you know, up to maybe eight years. So make sure it's something that you're interested in.